friends welcome to my channel the art zone today i have come up with a new video of this beautiful and simple table runner we have made this runner especially for beginners pattern is quite simple it is about 96 centimeter long and the inner one square is about 38 centimeter pattern is quite simple I hope you enjoyed the video so let's start the video before starting the video I request you to please subscribe my channel and press the bell button and give your suggestion in the comment section let's begin with the video we are going to make this table runner with medium weight number 4 acrylic yarn here we have these two colors of yarn I'm using blue and gray color and 3.5 millimeter crochet hook so first of all we'll make a magic ring like this now make three chains one two three these three chains will be counted as a first double crochet then yarn over Insert the hook into this ring and make two more double crochet. One and make one more double crochet in same ring. Two with this pattern, you'll make first three double crochet. After making three double crochet, make three chains one, two, three. Yarn over, then make three more double crochet in same ring. After making three double crochet again make three chains one two three with this chains we'll make the corner now make three double crochet one two three three chains and make three more double crochet in same ring with this pattern you'll make four groups of Three double crochet with three chains. One, two, three. With this pattern, you can see this. One, two, three, four. These four groups. Then make last three chains. One, two, three. Now you can see this. Here we have the yarn. So pull the yarn and close the ring like this. Now you can see this. Here we have first three double crochet so insert the hook into top turn of first double crochet and join with the slip stitch with this pattern we have completed our first round now round two for round two insert the hook in next chain make a slip stitch then make a slip stitch in next chain and here we have the chain space so insert the hook into this chain space and make a single crochet like this then make two chains single crochet and two chains will be counted as the first double crochet yarn over then make two more double crochet in same chain space one two with this pattern we'll make three double crochet because we'll count these chains as the first double crochet after making three double crochet make three chains and make three more double crochet in same chain space one two three with this pattern we'll make our first corner after making the corner now make a chain yarn over then skip next three double crochet and jump toward the second corner and again make the corner first of all make three double crochet one two three then make three chains and make three more double crochet in same chain space one two three 
then make a chain and jump toward the next corner keep doing with this pattern and complete round 2 we are at the end of round 2 here we have the last corner so we'll make 3 double crochet then make 3 chains and make 3 more double crochet in same chain space 1 2 3 after making fourth corner just make a chain and now insert the hook in second chain here we have first single crochet and two chains so insert the hook in second chain and join the slip stitch with this pattern you can see this we have completed two rounds and here we have these chain spaces now round three repeat the pattern first of all insert the hook in next chain make a slip stitch because we have to reach to this corner for this make a slip stitch in next chain and here we have the next corner and now make a single crochet and two chains single crochet and two chains will be counted as a first double crochet then make two more double crochet in same chain space one two with this pattern we'll make three double crochet after making three double crochet make three chains and make three more double crochet in same chain space one two three after making the corner now make a chain yarn over then you can see this here we have a chain space between these two groups of double crochet so insert the hook into this chain space and make three double crochet one two three then make a chain and jump to the next corner and again repeat this pattern make the corner with three double crochet three chains and three double crochet After making 3 double crochet, 3 chains and 3 double crochet, here we have a chain space between next 2 groups of double crochet. For this, first of all make a chain, then insert the hook into this chain space and make new 3 double crochet. 1, 2, 3. And now make a chain and jump to the next corner, repeat this pattern. Just make the corner with 3 double crochet, 3 chains and 3 double crochet. Then make 1 chain, 3 double crochet into this chain space and one chain in next corner keep doing with this pattern and complete this round we are at the end of round three after making last three double crochet make a chain then insert the hook into top chain of first double crochet and join with the slip stitch we have to just repeat this pattern you can see this in this round here we have one two two chain spaces now round 4, make a slip stitch in next chain, slip stitch in next chain and here we have the corner, so insert the hook into this corner and first of all make a single crochet then make 2 chains, single crochet and 2 chains will be counted as a first double crochet, then make 2 more double crochet, 1, 2, then make 3 chains and make 3 more double crochet in same chain space, 1, Two, three. After making the corner, now make a chain, and you can see this in this round. Here we have one, two. These two chain spaces. So first of all, insert the hook in first chain space, and make three double crochet. One, two, three. Then make a chain, jump toward the second chain space, and make three double crochet. One, two. 3 then make a chain and jump toward the next corner again make the corner with 3 double crochet 3 chains and 3 double crochet three after making the corner you can see this 
In this round, we are going to make one, two, three. Three chain spaces. We'll increase a chain, chain space in each round. After making the corner, make a chain, jump to the next chain space, make three double crochet, one, two, three, and one chain, insert the hook in next chain space, make three double crochet, one, two, three, then one chain and make the corner. After making the corner, just repeat this pattern. Make a chain, three double crochet in first chain space, then make one chain, three double crochet in second chain space, then make one chain and make the next corner. Keep doing with this pattern and complete round four. We are at the end of round four after making last three double crochet. Make a chain, then insert the hook into top chain of first double crochet and join with a slip stitch now we are going to start round five which is quite same as round three four just make a slip stitch in each chain and into this chain space make a single crochet then make two chains and make two more double crochet in same chain space one two with this pattern you will make first three double crochet then make three chains and make three more double crochet in same chain space. One, two, three. After making the corner, now make a chain. And in this round, here we have one, two, three. These three chain spaces. So make three double crochet in first chain space. One, two, three. Then one chain. 3 double crochet in 2nd chain space, 1, 2, 3, then 1 chain, 3 double crochet in next chain space, 1, 2, 3, after making last 3 double crochet, make a chain and insert the hook into this corner and make a new corner with 3 double crochet, 3 chains and 3 double crochet. One, two, three, and make three more double crochet in same chain space. One, two, three. After making the corner again, repeat this pattern. Pattern is quite simple. We have to just make a chain and three double crochet in each chain space. After completing round five and round six, we will make the corner, then one chain, three double crochet in first chain space. Here we have the second chain space, we'll make three double crochet, then make one chain, three double crochet in third chain space, one chain, three double crochet in fourth chain space, then one chain and make next corner. Keep doing with this pattern and with this pattern we'll make 12 rounds. After completing round 12, I'll tell you that what we have to do next. We are at the end of round 12. You can see this with this pattern. You'll make the inner part of this runner. After making last three double crochet, now make a chain, then insert the hook into top chain of first double crochet and make a slip stitch. Then cut the yarn from here because we have to change the color from this point. So with this pattern we have completed. With this pattern we have completed 12 rounds and now we are going to start the next round with new color. First of all make a slip knot. After making the slip knot now you can see this here we have one here we have the corner so we'll skip first second third these three chain spaces insert the hook in fourth chain space skip the corner next chain space and next chain space then here we have third chain space so insert the hook into this chain space and first of all make a single crochet 
after making the single crochet now make two chains the single crochet and two chains will be counted as a first double crochet yarn over then make two more double crochet in same chain space one two after making this make a chain then insert the hook in next chain space make three double crochet one two three then make one chain next chain space three double crochet one two three keep doing with this pattern until we reach to this corner After making this three double crochet, here we have the corners again. Make a chain and just make the previous pattern. Insert the hook into this corner, make three double crochet one, two, three, then make three chains and make three more double crochet in same chain space. So this pattern will make the corner. So you can see this. We'll make the corner with three double crochet, three chains, three double crochet, and here we have made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine groups of three double crochet. Then we have skipped one, two, three. These three chain spaces in the same pattern. We'll make next nine groups of double crochet, and we have to skip last one, two, three. These three chain spaces. We are at the end of this row one with this pattern we will make nine groups of double crochet into this side then make the corner and next nine groups of double crochet on next side after making nine groups of double crochet skip one two these two chain spaces and corner with this pattern we will skip these three chain spaces from both sides and now we have to turn the work from this point this first of all make two chains these two chains will be counted as our first double crochet then make two more chains after making one two three four after making this four chains turn the work now insert the hook into this chain space and make three double crochet one two and three with this pattern we will make a chain space now make a chain then insert the hook in next chain space and make three double crochet one chain three double crochet in next chain space one chain next chain space three double crochet just make three double crochet in each chain space with this pattern again you will make three double crochet in each of the next chain space and when we lead to this corner again you will make three double crochet three chains and three double crochet then make one chain make three double crochet one chain three double crochet in each chain space until we lead to this corner We are at the end of this row after making 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9 groups of double crochet. Here we have last 3 double crochet. Now I will make 2 chains. Then here we have these 3 double crochet. So skip 2 double crochet, insert the hook into top chain of last double crochet and make a double crochet. With this pattern we will complete row 2. And now row 3, for row 3, first of all, 
make two chains these two chains will be counted as the first double crochet yarn over then make two more double crochet in same chain space one two you can see this with this pattern it will make first three double crochet because we will count these two chains as a first double crochet then here we have next two double crochet now make a chain insert the hook in next chain space and make three double crochet in this row we will make 10 groups of double crochet one chain next chain space three double crochet one chain next chain space three double crochet one two three keep doing with this pattern make one chain and three double crochet in each chain space with this pattern you'll make 10 groups of double crochet in this row then here we have the corner so into this corner again you'll make 3 double crochet, 3 chains and 3 double crochet, then make 1 chain, 3 double crochet into each of the next chain spaces. With this pattern, you will complete row 3. We are at the end of row 3. After making this 3 double crochet, here we have the chain space. For this, make a chain, then insert the hook into this chain space and make last three double crochet from here. One, two, and three. After completing row three, now we are going to start row four. For row four, again make four chains. One, two, three, four. Then turn the work. Now insert the hook into this chain space and just make three double crochet in each chain space. Three. After making three double crochet, make a chain, then jump toward the next chain space and make three double crochet. One chain, jump toward the next chain space. And make three double crochet one two three we have to just repeat this pattern make three double crochet one chain three double crochet in each chain space with this pattern we will make row four and the same pattern we will make row five after making five rows i'll tell you that what we have to do next we are at the end of row 5 after making 3 double crochet, make a chain and here we have the last chain space, we will make 3 double crochet into this chain space, 1, 2 and 3. With this pattern we have completed row 5. After making last 3 double crochet, now cut the yarn. And we'll hide this yarn on back side of this runner. So you can see this with this pattern we have completed five rows with gray color. One, two, three, four, five. After making five rows, now we have to change the color of yarn. So I'm using blue color. First of all, make a slip knot. After making the slip knot, now again we have to skip one, two, three. These three chain spaces. Then insert the hook in fourth chain space. First of all, skip one, two, three. These three chain spaces. Then insert the hook in four chain space. First of all, make a single crochet. Then make two chains. Single crochet and two chains will be counted as a first double crochet. 
and make two more double crochet in same chain space one two after making three double crochet in this chain space make a chain insert the hook into next chain space and make three double crochet make one chain next chain space three double crochet one chain next chain three double crochet one chain sorry one double crochet We have to just repeat this pattern. We will make 5 rows with blue color and skip this 3 chain spaces and last 3 chain spaces. 1, 2, 3. These last chain spaces. And we will just repeat these rows. After making 5 rows with blue color, we will again make next 5 rows with gray color. Then we will make the next side with gray color then make next five rows with blue color and last five rows with gray color after completing that i'll tell you that what we have to do next so you can see this we have completed this runner here we have 5 10 15 these 15 rows we have made with gray color blue color and last five with gray color then with the same pattern you can see this we have skipped one, two, three. These three chain spaces. And with the same pattern, we have made the second side. As you can see this. After completing this, now we'll make the border. So we are going to make the border with blue color. First of all, make a slip knot. Here we have the front side. So we'll start the border from front side. First of all, you can see this. Here we have these three double crochets. So insert the hook into top chain of first double crochet. And make a single crochet. Insert the hook in second chain, single crochet. Third chain, single crochet. With this pattern, we'll make three single crochet like this after making this next we have the chain space insert the hook into this chain space and make a single crochet then here we have next three double crochets we'll make a single crochet in each chain one two three we have to just repeat this pattern, make a single crochet in each chain, then here we have the chain space, make a single crochet in chain space, then make next one, two, three, three single crochet, then to this chain space, make a single crochet, then make next three single crochet, one, two, three keep doing with this pattern until we reach the corner just make a single crochet in each chain after making three single crochet into this corner here we have the chain space so insert the hook into this corner chain space make a single crochet then make four chains single crochet in same chain space then make five chains one two three four five make single crochet in same chain space now make four chains one two three four and make last single crochet into this chain space with this pattern we'll make a flower like this After making this, this pattern will remain same. Just make a single crochet in each chain. One, two, three. 
then here we have the chain space make a single crochet then jump to the next double crochet make a single crochet in first chain single crochet in second chain single crochet in third chain keep doing with this pattern until we reach to this last double crochet After making a single crochet in each chain, here we have last group of double crochet. So we'll make a single crochet in first chain, single crochet in second chain, and here we have the last chain. Make a single crochet. After making the single crochet, now you can see this. Here we have this double crochet, double crochet, double crochet. So we'll make two single crochet in each double crochet. One, two. Insert the hook in next double crochet and make two single crochet one, two. Then insert the hook in next double crochet and make two single crochet one, two. Then here we have next two single crochet one, two. And here we have the last double crochet. So we'll make two single crochet in last double crochet like this. With this pattern, it will be two single crochet in each double crochet. After making this, next you can see this here we have these groups of double crochet. So here we have first three double crochets. Insert the hook into top chain of first double crochet, make a single crochet, then second double crochet, make a single crochet, and third double crochet, make a single crochet. And here we have the chain space, make a single crochet, then make next single crochet one. Two, three, one, then one, two, three, single crochet in chain space. Then here we have last three double crochet, single crochet one, two, and here we have the top chain of last double crochet, make a single crochet, and again repeat the pattern, make two single crochet in each double crochet. Here we have this double crochet. So we'll make two single crochet in each double crochet. One, two, then next double crochet. One, two, next. One, two, next. One, two, and here we have the last double crochet. Make two single crochet. One, two. The next, you can see this. Here we have next groups of double crochets. Insert the hook into top chain of first double crochet. Make a single crochet. One, two, three. Into this chain space, make a single crochet. One, two, three. We have to just make a single crochet in each chain like this. You can see this. Here we have these peaks. Here we have these peaks. And when we will reach to the next corner, we'll again make the flower with this pattern. Keep doing with this pattern and complete the final round. So guys, we have completed the final round. You can see this we have made the final round with blue color the pattern will look like this after completing this round here we have these flowers on both sides like this so after making this you can see this i hope you enjoy the video so we'll meet you soon with a new video till then goodbye